else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? Oh, I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper. But our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah, we're getting all wet. No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle. Pepper loves markets. Everyone loves markets. There, Pepper. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Pepper. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall. So you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two. While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh. 
Oh dear, Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait, that's Daddy Pig. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mommy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Got you. Oh, she's got him. Hooray! My mommy to the rescue. Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig. Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip. Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job. It'll last for years. I can't hold on. Ah, Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm just going to park it. Oh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Do you want a ride? Yes, please! Okay, hop in! <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral! Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Peppa. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look! 
Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> The bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. <laughs> Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. The box away for you. Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting 
wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes. That's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina! It's D -door, D -door, no, it's D-door, D-door. Police cars go. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Nina, I might explain what I was about to say it was police, the police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, but... it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr. Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here... Or a door here! Or 
Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me any time you want. <laughs> yes, and you can come and play with me any time you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak! Yes, please. <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. The pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello, Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. <laughs> Next stop, the playground. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Aw, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. Hello. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! <laughs> So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good look out, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy. It's coming back. Here she comes. Here she comes. Catch it, Mr Pig. Ah, oh, missed it. <gasps> oh, no. The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. 
Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Oh, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> This is the beach. <laughs> wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh! Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa! Kylie <laughs> is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. Woohoo! Peppa, let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Oh. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. 
It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Pepper. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. So, we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four seven six eight five it's nine? George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. 
what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madame Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Riding Pepper's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> 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 that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me. Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone! Find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. <laughs> That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music. It was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. 
I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! <laughs> I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> me! <laughs> She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <coughs> can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <coughs> and what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! Ready, steady, go! Wait! <laughs> stop! Stop! What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh! I hope the Easter bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. <laughs> I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> Yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. this, Grandpa? That is manure. Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <sniffs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. 
This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. <laughs> In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <laughs> if you let it go, it will go up and up and up, all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Uh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa! You fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa! A beautiful garden gnome! Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa. Not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho. We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. 
Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> 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 Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> <laughs> When I ring this bell, it's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine, I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The Elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Elephant. Elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're sailing. We're canoeing. We're peddling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. <laughs> Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot. Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit days? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah, 
Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? Steady? Go! And they're off. Come on, George! That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief, chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Goldie, wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <coughs> you can pause the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <coughs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you! Ciao! Goodbye! Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear! It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet. But I'm sure it will get here soon. <sighs> night, night, Grandpa. Night, night, Peppa. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Pepper and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Our faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And... Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, 
I can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh! How does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah, let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh, it's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. <laughs> Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No, we're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water? Yes. Hmm. I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is 